<laughs> hey, welcome back to Cork Community Art Link's Spooky Comic Making Workshops with Podge. Over here. And Colin, over there. Possibly cars, cameras, mirror, yeah, somewhere. maybe. We're not very good with directions. No, we're not. I mean, look, you've ended up in your kitchen when you're supposed to be in your office. I mean, pfft. So this is going to be an art workshop again, and now you're going to do thumbnails. So what's a thumbnail? Right. Uh, thumbnails are what you do before you lay out your panels. It's, it's, uh, basically, it's, pre it's prepping where each and every one of your panels on every page is going to go on your sheet. So this is basically. kind of like the character designs and that you're just doing a little bit of practice before you get into the full thing properly. Yeah. Once you have your, pan once you have your panel set up, you can figure out in each panel where all your characters are going to, using stick figures, basically. You can put down where you can give yourself an idea where each character is going to be standing in what building and in what location in each panel. Okay. So we're going to give that, that we're going to give that a go and we're going to see if we can set, if we can get a thumbnail ready for the finished product. Great. Okay, let's get started. Oh, yeah. We give it a go. Right. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw in a makeshift page. This can all be nice and loose. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's a makeshift page. And I will need your assistance in helping me out here. Okay. So uh, am I right in thinking that there's six panels in, in the whole story? Yes, so we've got six panels. So our first panel is we want to show the goblins buying their tickets. So we're establishing that they're at the cinema, they're buying their tickets. So if we put the first, if we put the first panel, shall we say here? Okay. Uh, what's, the, what's going to be in the second, uh, what's the second panel? Second panel then is there, we cut straight away they're in the cinema um but the sort of we're, we're introducing a new element they're in the cinema the dragon is also in the cinema the dragon's trying to watch his film but the goblins are just exploding everywhere there's chaos throwing popcorn okay so we can put the second panel here okay okay where's number three so then the next so the next two panels next two panels are kind of a sequence so what we have in the in the third panel is the dragon is getting up and he's going to the projector room to, to sort out the problem and then the panel after that he's switching the film so that's panels okay. three and four so panel three is, is the dragon going to the projecting room we can put this one underneath here and he's switching the film so we can put another panel here so i haven't messed i haven't made i haven't messed with the size of the panels yet i'm just putting in boxes okay and you're that, right that leaves you're literally not even drawing anything. You're just seeing what the best size is for the panels. Yeah, I just need to know where, I'm just trying to figure out where all where the panels should go on the page. As of right now, they read from left to right because you, you can go from here to here and then you go down to here to here. See how it works? Super, okay, great. So the final two panels. So then we have, we're gonna switch back to the cinema and we see that there's like a horrible, cute Disney filled full of rabbits film showing or something like that. Okay. So we're back in the cinema and the goblins are, are, are realizing what's after happening. And the final okay. panel is the goblins are just exploding out of the cinema. They're running, they're terrified. They're trying to get as far as possible from the cute cartoon film that the dragon has put on. Okay, so I have got six panels here. No. Uh, I don't think I'm happy with the layout of these panels. Okay. Because, one, it's very boring. They're all kind of the same size. That's true, yeah. And two, depending on what's going on in each panel will depend on the size of the panel. So like, you want, you like, want uh, to have... No, I figured, it, I figured this out straight away with the first two panels. Because the first two panels, you're, gonna have, you're supposed to have an intro of... A, a, a goblin getting a ticket at a kiosk and that doesn't need to be that big because the second panel is is the inside of the cinema with loads of little guys running around and a dragon sitting in the middle so and, and with a panel this small you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to fit anything in here so you want that to be a big panel the second panel yeah yeah I want, i'd like this to be bigger so what we'd end up doing you now we'll we'll, we'll, we'll when i change over and we try it again you'll see you'll see the change up with the other three panels, there's actually three separate actions going. It, it, it's kind of like a little road movie. So you got a guy going, you got the dragon going to the projector room, which will be in this one. Yeah. You got him switching the, uh, the, the reels in this one. And then down in this one, you have the Disney presents written across the screen and a bunch of popcorn we're trying to do. 
that would also be a big action, an action kind of a little bit of a, an action lead panel too. Okay. And then the final panel is the big es exclamation mark at the end. So you want all kinds of chaos as the doors are swinging open and, and all the goblins are running out. So that would mean that this panel is actually way too small for, for that. So okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the sheet over and we're gonna try and accommodate the panels that uh, need, to be, uh, need to be bigger. So, so this, I suppose, is why you're just doing it nice and loose and not putting in lots of detail. So it hasn't, it's only taken you a couple of minutes to figure all that out and then you can start again. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is figuring out, this is figuring out what, what, what pounds are going to have impact, what pounds are small and don't need, you know, like the, like the panel of him changing the, the reel. You, you won't need a big panel for it. You need, you, yeah. just need, you need something small for a hand moving the reel, just to show enough detail. Okay. So what, what I'm going to try and do here now is, okay, panel one guy is going to be at the chaos. So we'll make this a little bit smaller. Which means we have much more space over here. Great. Panel is that bit bigger? Okay. And we can we can even make this smaller again. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, because you really want to have a lot of room to show the cinema because you're showing the, the, the cinema, dragon yeah, yeah. and the yeah, goblins yeah. kind of going everywhere. Okay. And because we got three action three action shots, we can break we can break the page into into three equal panels here. So we have one. Two, three. Okay. This one will be a slight, slightly bigger than the other two. Okay. The, the middle one will probably be a bit, a, be, be a little bit smaller. And I'll explain why when we get to it. Which leaves this massive space down at the very end for all, for all the chaos. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, that, that. So, that it, so it ends with a big punch and rawr, loads of little guys running around. What do you think of that? That's much better. So I really like that there's a lot of room for the final panel because the final panel I think is the most fun panel in the whole comic. Just the goblins just boiling out of the cinema and it's just really silly. Yeah, I like, I like yeah. that idea a lot more, yeah. No, uh, what, we're gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in the panels with a rough idea of where people are going to be sitting. Now, this is going to be really rough. This is going to be like just like stick figures or just a bit beyond stick figures because you we've done the concept art so we know what guys are going to look like anyway so what i'm going to do is the first panel is goblin buying a ticket at the lighter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a little kiosk with lido Okay, that's mm. great because that establishes where we are straight away. Exactly. I thought you'd like that. I don't have to put anything <laughs> else in. I thought, see, see, I'm keeping the writer happy already. All the information has been given to you in that one tiny little panel. We could put a little person behind giving a ticket. We'll call him William for now. <laughs> and down here we can have a little guy with his hand up. Going, I think it says ticket, please, or human ticket. Yes. I, I would like him, yeah. So I want to, I want you to leave a little bit of room there for him to be saying, "One human ticket, please, for a human." Yep. And if we want, we can put one or two more guy heads coming around behind him, like there's going to be a queue of lads. That'd be great, behind. yeah, to kind of get give the reader the idea straight away that it's a whole bunch of them. And then I can put door here. Great. Okay, so you've got a so huge amount of information in just a small panel. That's really great. That's I think that's a perfect first panel. So you get the idea that they're at the cinema, they're buying a ticket, and they're going to go in. Fantastic. So then we can cut. Perfect. Yeah. So then we can cut to the second panel, which is which is big, which is a much bigger panel. So we can put in a projector boot in the background, showing the movie, like you're looking, like you're looking back at all the seats. So we're going to draw seats, big dragon in the center. So he's going to be in the center of the panel. I like that you put him in the dead center of the panel so we can we'll really be focused on the fact that he is just not having good fun. Oh, yeah. Sure. I, I can uh, uh, when you're doing art, uh, every, pa every panel is like a painting. And what you want to do is keep everyone focused on the center of the painting. So if you put the main character, which is the dragon, right in the center, he'll, he'll be the first thing you see when you look at the panel. And, for, and around him, we can draw all the little guys we can put a big guy here right in front of the screen. <laughs> That's a fun block Blocking the screen. We can have a guy swinging around here. 
with his big ears, and he's like, Wee! <laughs> and you can see he's got his little, his little angry. Fantastic. So we've, we've got, again, we've got all the information we need from that panel. I don't think, as a writer, I don't think I even want or need to add any dialogue to that. I think you're going to get everything you need from just a picture there. I think that's yeah. perfect. Um, okay. okay. So, so then, then, we cut panel, then we have the three small panels, yeah. right? Um, one, one is, I think the next one is, he's going to projection booth. Yes, absolutely. So so what we, what we can do, do with this, something. so basically what this is, is that it's someone walking to a door, which is kind of boring. But, but if we change the angle and we draw the door at a, at a 45 degree angle. Okay, that's, that's weird. Oh, so why, okay. have you, why have you decided to tilt it like that? For dramatic purposes, a lot of comics will do this. If there's people standing still in comic books, you, you'll probably find that the, that the viewer is looking up at them or looking down at them, or it's slightly tilted to the side. It just makes everything a little bit more dramatic rather than just straight on. Okay, super. I like it. But if you're looking at me like that, that's a little bit more dramatic. So I change, so I change the attic, and maybe we put some stairs that he has to go up to the projector room. That makes sense. Okay, and then here's the key. I don't really want to draw the dragon in fully again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw him from behind in silhouette. Sneaky. Oh yeah, and we put his tail in so that you know it's the dragon. Brilliant. So he's walking up the stairs to the projector booth. Can we see that? Yeah, that's perfect. So that's the next step done again. Uh, the small panel, the very small panel in the center, I deliberately made that tiny because okay. all it is, he's changing the reels. So all you need to do there, you don't have to draw the full dragon again. All you need to do is show the reel and a hand taking it. That's all, that's all you need. So I can draw the, what are those things look like? They kind of look like that. And they've yeah, got all protector reels. Yeah, but they, kind of, they always have film hanging off it, don't they? Yeah. We, I might stick a, a little speech bubble in there with the dragon saying or thinking, I'll show these guys, something like that. Oh, I, I can do that. I can leave space up here for you, up, up at the very top. I can leave That's the space perfect. up here the top, and I can have the hand come in from down here, grabbing it. Excellent. So it looks like the dragon is taking the, he's either taking the reel, well, he's taking a reel anyway, so you know he's up to different. Yes. <laughs> and it's right. going to be in the next panel that we find out exactly what he's done, exactly what's going on. Yeah, so what we can do then is, you know the way, you know the way in this panel, we, uh, I have you, uh, we're, we're kind of at the screen and we're looking back at all the, at all the chairs and everyone in the chairs. Yeah. In this panel, we can do it the other way around. We, right. can have it from, we can have it from the projector room, looking at the, the big screen. That keeps it interesting. I'll put in some curtains at the side because uh, I like those old fashioned curtains. Remember the old fashioned curtains? Yeah, the really pull old the way for the yeah. screen. You kids wouldn't remember that. <laughs> And what, what I can put there, I, I like right off the top of my head right now, I know you said we're going to put cutesy stuff in. I'm just going to write down Disney Presents. Perfect. That's probably good enough to terrify the goblins. Yeah, yeah. And then you, because if you write down Disney, that's all you need to know. It's going to be cutesy. That's and very true. You know exactly. And then so I have this space down here to show rawr, all the heads <laughs> freaking out again. Rawr. So and I can even direct. break them out of the panel. I can have them running out of the panel itself. <laughs> which, a nice touch. Which, which is what's called breaking the fourth wall. Some comics do it. You know, you have characters reaching outside the panels, and it kind of it'll make the page a little bit more dynamic if I do that. So we can have we can have we can, I can have guys trying to scramble to get out of the panel to get away from the big Disney. Oh, yeah, I think this is coming true now, yeah. You know, drawing some of the chairs if I can, if I have the space to put it in. I don't know yet because I haven't, I haven't done drawn this up in a big dream. But I've got, but I've got my idea of what I'm going to do. Fantastic. Looking but finally, down at the very end, then we have, um, if I do remember, they're all breaking up the door and they're running and they're running away. Exactly that. Yes. No. If you remember in the last video, you showed me the the photograph of the Lido. So what I'll end up doing, no, I haven't done it yet. But what I'll end up doing is I'll I'll redraw that that that, that building. So it'll be kind of like, it's kind of going down an alley like this and it's kind of going up this way. There's a footpath here and there's a door and there's a door light up. About what it looked like. And what I can do is I can just have all the lads going, running away. 
That's brilliant. I love again the goblin on like he's almost right up against the screen, up against the page. It gives a great sense of just kind of bursting out of the page, which I think is going to look. Oh yeah, really it's really always fun. it's always handy to have one right up in front of the screen because then you could just do tiny little guys in the background and running away. If you if you can get one full drawn of any one goblin, like in, like this guy here, if you can just draw one full goblin, yeah. the rest of them are, they can all be tiny, tiny little tiny little guys. So we have this guy running with. Running away, and we can put more belting off down the road as well too. So you get, you kind of get the idea. Yeah, and that, and that, and that would be the end of the, the story, hopefully. Yeah, and at this stage, and the thumbnails, that is all you need to do. I, th I think you've done a great job. I think you know exactly what's going to go on the page. I think that's perfect. Uh, so the, is the writer happy with the way, with the flow of the way this is? The writer going? is indeed happy. The writer is always happy, Potch. I'm just, I'm positively <laughs> peacock. I'm just a wonderful person. So we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, we'll see if we can transfer this into a finished comic in the next video. Okay, in the next installment of Podge and, Podge and Film. Podge and Colin, We're, thank you very much. Podge and Colin on film. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I do need a sidekick. <laughs> what a dynamic duo. Go on. Oh, okay. okay, I want to be the watchman. Uh, uh, we are going to take these thumbnail sketches and we're going to panel out a proper comic book page and we're going to go from penciling to inking. Fantastic. We'll see you all then.